Hello, welcome to this lesson of the AC Analysis uh, Tutor. In this section, we're going to start to talk about Kirchhoff's Laws uh, in the phaser domain. This is part one. Part two in the next section, we'll work some problems. Here, I mostly want to introduce it. I've been mentioning a lot of this stuff up to this point, and I've kind of hinted to you that when we use phaser analysis, convert our sources to phasers, convert now we know how to convert our capacitors and inductors into impedances, that I've been telling you all up until this point that everything's going to be easier. Just trust me. Just trust me. I know it's a lot of stuff, but just trust me. It's going to be easier. And now I think I'll be able to explain to you why it's easier. So let's recall, uh, recall that the Kirchhoff voltage law in what we're calling now the time domain, that just means what we've studied up to this point. It's not the phaser domain, the time domain, is very simply the following. Uh, when you walk around a loop uh, there, it's just V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus dot, 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 whatever you have, is equal to zero. So in other words, if you have a resistor, 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 voltage source, or whatever, you add up the voltage drop here, the voltage drop here, the voltage drop here, the voltage drop here, which would probably be negative if you're going up through a source, you set all that stuff equal to zero, and when you look at any loop in any circuit, the voltage drops around any closed path is going to be zero all the time. You just have to follow the sign conventions that we've been introduced uh, and use extensively up until this point. So now let's look at um, the following. This is the point of this lesson. The KVL, Kirchhoff Voltage Law, in the phaser domain, which means AC analysis, basically using phasers, is I bet you can guess what it is. Phaser voltage 1 plus phaser voltage 2 